Hey guys, it's Tommy here, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a slightly different video to what I normally post. I wanted to make a video on the wing coasters in, in Planet Coaster. Um, wing coasters are a particular type of coaster for me anyway that I have a I have a quite an interest in. I, th I think they look I think they look and feel and ride completely different to you know any any other sort of uh, coaster out there. And it's you know it's something I wanted to look at and I thought I'd make this video just to break down the four different types of wing coasters that are in the game and you know and the differences between them and, and what you're getting it, depending on which one you pick so you know if you are looking at all four and thinking what you know which one do I need to put in if I want to put in a wing coaster then you know if you stay tuned in this video this will probably help you out as to see which one would suit you know would suit your part the best um, wing coasters are off, off fairly you know fairly new in the uh, in the roller coaster world um, B&M or Bollinger and Mabillard um, designed the first wing coaster back in 2007 and 2008 was when they initially started looking at it and the first one opened up at Gardaland in Italy um, in late 2011. This was um, this was then followed up uh, by the Swarm which is situated at Thorpe Park in uh, in Surrey in London. Um, so that was uh, that, that was the second uh, wing coaster in the world. As you can see that as you can see from, on you know on your screen traditional wing coasters um, do what they say on the tin really um, they you know they sit the riders on the wing of the coaster as opposed to being sat in the middle so although the coaster is still fixed on the track the guests and the riders are sat on the edge of it as if you're on the wing of the uh, wing of the train so that is you know that that's the idea behind it it's completely different to any other style of style of coaster um, there has been there has been gimmicks on, on real life coasters where they've altered certain seats to you know to face backwards there's, there's a lot of things you can do with them um, and one of the uh, one of the best things about them um, or, or one of the trickiest things should we say in terms of the design of them is making sure they uh, making sure they are a smooth ride um, I mean please don't judge the tracks on here uh, you'll, uh, you'll you'll see later on that the tracks aren't the smoothest um, in there these are just kind of built to give you an example of the ride in action um, but yeah, wing, wing coasters are all about having that sort of flying sensation, um, as you know, as if you are on the wing of, of some sort of creature or bird. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at the four coasters um, that are in Planet Coaster under the wing category. So the first wing coaster we will take a look at is the Black Falcon wing coaster, um, which, as you can see, is appropriately named because of the uh, Black Falcon that you'll find on the coaster itself. Um, the Black Falcon is based upon um, Bollinger and Mabillard or B&M. Um, they're one of the uh, big players in the roller coaster designers and creator um, creators in the world. Um, it's based upon their version of the wing coaster. So as you can see, uh, as I mentioned, the seats are on the side of the track. There's nothing above or below the riders and Essentially, the you know the point of this coaster is to make you sort of feel like you're you know flying or like like you're on the wing wings of a of a creature um, flying through somewhere. That that's the um, that's the idea of the you know the coaster anyway. That's that's why the layout is as it is. Um, this coaster is, use, does use a chain lift, uh, as you'll see the ones later on. Not all of them use the same um, same lift hill. That is one of the differences between the coasters. Um, but this does use a traditional chain lift coaster. Um, one, zi one sort of uh, wing coaster that you may have seen if you've been there is at Thorpe Park in uh, London. Uh, that has a ride called uh, the Swarm, which is a which is a wing coaster exactly the same style as this. Uses a chain lift um, and also has this sort of great feature at the start where you you know you, once you leave the uh, once you leave the lift hill. Uh, you're then sort of flipped upside down and you enter into like a half loop. Um, great, great feature on a ride. Um, and, to, and to be fair, the Swarm is probably one of my favourite coasters in the UK. Um, so if you've not been to Thorpe Park or you've not been on the Swarm, I definitely recommend doing so. Um, let's just have a look at it in the menu. So here's the Black Falcon in the menu. It it can invert as you you know as you've seen there. The coaster can go upside down. This one is for adults and teens only, so if you're making a family-friendly park and you you know and you want a coaster where kids can go on as well, this probably isn't the one. 
Um, but as I say, for adults and teens, so you know, the, the majority of your guests will be able to go on it, but it might be a bit too intense for all of them. Um, the stats at the side in terms of the maximum drop angle and the banking, etc., they're all pretty similar amongst all of these wing coasters, so they're not really something that differentiates them. Um, as I say, the, the chain lift and the layout of the car is, the, uh, is probably the, one of the main things, but there's a lot of things you can do with them. One of the things I would say is to just kind of watch, um, watch the speed that they can get up to because they can get very intense very quickly. Um, I've just I've built this track very quickly. This is a, this wouldn't be a coaster I put in any park. Um, I built this very quickly just to show you it um, sort of operating. Um, but the speed that some of these can get up to is quite deceiving. So you really need to sort of balance out the uh, you know the the drops and the intensity of the ride. Otherwise, you will get quite a uh, quite a a back breaking or a neck jolting sort of ride um, but as you can see that's that's it going into that half loop um, and going around the track but you, you'll see here if we just follow this you'll see the speed that it comes up at I had to put a bit of a brake one in before it went a bit too crazy but straight away as soon as it goes, it goes back down that drop it is flying again so yeah definitely something to watch out when you are building a wing coaster and um, try and get it as smooth and as controlled as possible. Um, I do like this little uh, feature here, giving you a bit of air time. I think, the, I think it does look really good doing this, so it's definitely one element to consider. Um, but yeah, that is the, that is the uh, Black Falcon on Planet Coaster. So the second wing coaster we have in Planet Coaster to look at is Cloud Runner. Uh, now the Cloud Runner is Another, um, it's another coaster based off a B&M wing coaster. Um, the main difference with this one is the seats are in the same position, but this one is a this one is a launched um, coaster as opposed to using a chain lift. So, you know, as you can see there, it gains it gains its speed at the start of the ride just from a powered launch as opposed to uh, being dragged up a lift hill. Um, so, in real life, there is only two of these type of coasters in the world. Uh, one is at Holiday, uh, Holiday World in Indiana, in the US, and the other one is called Furious Baco, which is at Port Ventura in Salou. Um, I have been on that one, and it is, it is a fantastic ride. It's completely different to anything else. Um, Furious Baco was made by Intamin, though. It wasn't made by B&M, so there is a slight difference there. Um, so if we're being specific about, um, about a B&M launch wing coaster, there is only the one that exists. Um, as I say, entirely, you know, entirely up to you which type of these wing coasters you want to look at. Um, it, it purely depends on the style of ride that you want to get in. If you want to try and have a sort of lower down ride that has a bit of um, speed and force on it, I would probably recommend this sort of wing coaster just because you can get the speed without having to use the height. Um, but again, if you want the um, if you want the height of a lift hill or a chain lift, I would probably go with the other traditional um, wing coaster. But other than that, it is exactly the same as the Black Falcon one. Um, if we just take a look at the menu here for, for Cloud Runner, so as you can see, it is a launched um, powered coaster as opposed to a chain lift, um, and exactly the same as as the Black Falcon for the other sections. It can invert. It is for adults and teens only. So again, you know, if you are designing a park for all ages, it's probably not the one to put in. Uh, and all of the other stats there are, you know, are, are very similar. As you can see, that nothing changes between the two of them. Um, it is literally just the way that um, the coaster is powered. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that is Cloud Runner, and that is the second wing coaster in Planet Coaster. The third wing coaster we have in the game is called Test Pilot. Now, Test Pilot is based upon Aerodynamics um, fourth dimension wing coaster. Uh, as you've probably seen here, the, uh, the seats do hang over the edge, but the difference here is the seats rotate. Now, you can program the ride as you're, as you're building it to tell when the seats rotate, uh, which is what I've done here. As you can see, the seats are at a 90 degree bend from what they set off as. And as you, if you watch it going up, you can see the seats there rotating back. Um, so that is that is obviously the, the big difference on this ride is that you will have the seats rotating. What I what I've also done is just point out to you down here when the uh, when the train goes down here, 
one of the uh, one of the things to watch out for. You really do need to judge when to rotate the seats. Um, I just want to I just want you to see how how easy it is to to make this coaster look a bit more violent. As you can see there, the seats do a a full 360 flip quite quickly, and I'm pretty sure your guests will be filing a lot of health and safety complaints if you uh, if you <laughs> subject them to that sort of punishment. Um, the ride does naturally go backwards, but one way to counteract this is to turn the track upside down. So if you inverted it and made it go upside down, the guests would be then almost be on like a uh, on a on a you know a uh, lying down coaster. So um, that is one way to counteract it, and you know it, it's a completely um, it's a completely unique coaster. Um, as I say, the, the seats are, are in the same uh, same positions as the other wing coasters. It's just that these seats rotate. Um, it does use a chain lift like uh, like the Black Falcon one does. Um, and as I say, the main selling point is the rotating seat. So if we just look at that, in, if we just look at it in the menu, here it is. Um, so yeah, it does it does use a chain lift. Um, and the difference, the other difference with this coaster is that it is for all ages. So whilst the other wing coasters are for adults and teens only. This one is for all ages, so if you build this in your park and it is one that is loved by guests and doesn't do that, <laughs> um, then you will get all ages queuing up for this ride, which I think is a really, uh, really good, you know, really good selling point for it. Um, as I say, it, it is a it is a fantastic layout. Um, in real life, there is one of these at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California um, called X2. So if you do want to look up on YouTube. Uh, any uh, any POVs for that? Then uh, you know it's definitely worth a look. Um, they you know it does look a really interesting ride. But as I say, the the key thing to building one of these is making sure you manage where those rotations happen. Um, I would recommend lay, laying the guest down on, on a lift hill like that. I think that is a nice little uh, nice little gimmick. But definitely uh, definitely not throwing them around in a full circle like you saw down here. So. Uh, yeah, that is wing coaster number three. That is uh, that is test pilot. And the fourth and final wing coaster on Planet Coaster is the Tiamat. Now the Tiamat is based on Intamin's style of wing coaster. Um, in real life, the the first of the, the first of this type is called Sky Rush, and it is based at Hershey Park. Um, which I believe is in the US, uh, and this, I mean, the Sky Rush in real life has got a bit of a reputation for crushing the thighs. Um, if you can see the restraints here, um, because of the because of the force of wing coasters um, and the restraints here, um, it, they have nicknamed it um, Thigh Crush instead of Sky Crush. Um, Apparently, I've never ridden it to uh, to give my uh, viewpoint on it, but that is one of the uh, that is one of the viewpoints of people who have ridden it. Um, there's a couple of differences on this uh, on this style of wing coaster over the over the other three that we've looked at. The first one you can see straight away from the uh, from the train, um, the seats don't hang over the edge quite as much. So the other three involve the seats being basically split off into pairs and sat on either side. This one, they kind of sit more in like a spread out way of a traditional coaster. So um, yeah, it's not quite the uh, it's not quite the same train, which you know could be a reason why you'd want to use this one in, inside your park. You know, if you prefer this uh, style and layout of train. The other is the cable lift. Now this ride uses a cable lift, which is this little piece of metal just there that the train hooks onto, and the cable drags the tra drags the train up up the lift hill. The reason, I, I mean, there's not a massive difference in um, in terms of the the ride um, as to why you'd use this. It is purely the speed that the cable can get uh, the train up the hill, and that that is essentially it. And it drags it down, drags it down to the end of the end of the uh, lift there. And it, as you can see, that is the small that is a small cable piece that then goes back down. Once it's released that train, it goes all the way back down to the bottom. And then once it's back down there, the next train is ready to go on. Um, so because of this, you, you don't necessarily need block brakes on, on this ride because th there is a big enough gap um, between, you know, between the trains leaving um, because the, obviously this piece has got to come all the way back down to the bottom. You can see it there as it just arrives back down 
once it's there the next train goes and the same happens again so that is another that is another major difference um, between this one and the other three that are available um, if we have a look at it in the menu here the tier mat uh, as I said it, it is a cable lift it can invert just like the other three um, this one is for adults and teens only so if you are making a family style park and you want a ride uh, or coaster that kids uh, are able to go on this isn't the one to be using besides that everything else is pretty much the same as the other wing coasters um, in terms of like their maximum drop and banking angle as I've said they are all tend to be pretty similar with each other the main difference with this one is the fact that um, is the fact that it is on a cable hill if you prefer that style of, uh, of lift hill just to give a bit of difference um, to the traditional uh, chain lift um, or launched um, start for the coaster um, I think from a distance there that it, it does look quite a nice uh, quite a nice drop you know as you can see as you can see the supports here the, the supports are a lot thicker um, so when you look at it from an angle like that it really does it really does look quite intimidating and the fact that it drags you know that the cable drags the train all the way over the top and then releases it as it goes down um, it is just a really nice uh, really nice design I think um, and like I say, if you want a wing coaster, but don't necessarily want the seats hanging off the edge, again, this is the one to uh, this is the one to be using, um, because, just because of the layout of the car. So there you go. That was that, that was the four different wing coasters in the game. Um, I hope that does help. Um, if you you know if you have been having a few questions, or I hope it's just kind of you know made made you aware of the different style of coasters. Um, if you've not had a chance yet to uh, you know to, to discover the wing coasters in the game. Um, as I say, I, th I think the wind coaster does look so unique and it looks great when you can get one of these working right. Um, they aren't the easiest to build. Um, as I say, don't please don't judge these tracks. These are just sort of circuits to show you in this little video. But um, if you want to have a go building one yourself, you know, by all means, um, you know, do it and uh, you know, and, and let me know. I'll come and have a look at it because, as I say, they, they are one that do interest me. Um, and yeah, there's there's so much there's so much to them, um, but if you can just get that balance right with the speed and the intensity, um, then you you know you'll be well on your way to having a great coast in your park. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching that. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. Uh, and other than that, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.